everybody enjoyed that last video with the whole nacho thing. I am literally getting ready for my next video. So this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge myself to get around Albuquerque the entire time I'm here on just my BMX bike. So I, so I'm going to park my van. Oh, so I'm going to park my van up here and I'm going to, um, just leave it parked here for the night or the day. I have a couple stops that I need to make this evening. I ain't even too sure if I'm gonna be able to make it there because I'll be on my bike. I wanted to go to round one to play a couple games. And then my boy Lefty wanted me to stop by to play some disc golf. So I probably won't catch up to them probably until like 10 or 11, but I should still be able to make a couple of games. And then I don't know where I'm gonna go from there, but I have to travel all the way back up here which is a total uphill ride and I'm not looking forward to that at all. But this is where my journey starts. It is now 6.30. I believe it's 5.30 here in Albuquerque or I might be 7.30 here in Albuquerque. 7.30 in Albuquerque. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm doing this for y'all. I am cruising down Central. Ooh, it's already a long way down. <laughs> Some big old bump here. My destination is no destination. <laughs> There's a food truck right there though. That might be my destination. Uh oh, emergency. Alright, so I made it all the way out to Coors Boulevard. I started from 98th Street. Oh. Yo, I'm super tired already. Woo! Got a long way to go because I'm going all the way down to university. And the Roosevelt Park is to this side, so it's on coal. Or well, I might not even make it that far because this one has my leave, so I probably got to go to Calvary first. Yeah. But I got to get a tool because I left my tools for this bike. I'm going to put my seat up a little bit. The seat is too low. I've been riding for about an hour now. Finally made it to the Rio Grande. Water is flowing that way. The wind is blowing this way. Traffic is going that way. The other traffic is going this way. And I'm going that way. But this is the Rio Grande. Albuquerque, New Mexico. those of you who are watching in a different state Albuquerque is one of the best places I've ever lived so if you want to visit somewhere come visit Albuquerque New Mexico the food is great the people are pretty cool and the, the vibe is just awesome definitely one of the best places I've ever lived ever visit I, I'm here all the time I love Albuquerque come visit all right this is uh, old Town, so there's a lot of different stores in Old Town. It's a really awesome spot to go during the day. I mean, not awesome for me, but it, it's usually where people come when they come over to visit or whatever. It's a lot of different places here. Yeah. See that on that side? Someone could get married over there if they wanted to. They're sweet. Y'all want to know some arrows history? There's a little building back there in the back there where I used to um, work at. They gave me the code, they gave me the key and everything. Um, yeah, it was really awesome. And another cool thing about this area is this is where uh, Walter White blew up that, um, that second story. Remember he threw that little crystal on the floor and it blew up? It was this building right here. This one blew up, then he walked back over there, he got in his ride and took off. It's pretty dope. 
but my connection with this place kind of got screwed up because this uh, this idiot told the owner that I had a gun in the building which was probably kind of my fault because I was joking but she really took a literal and called the cops and everything and I was just trying to make her feel safe and all because she was sleeping over there and she wasn't supposed to be sleeping over there uh, right here is where I did one of my first shows for this place that they used to call El damn I forgot what it was called that was a while back man it's a little art studio man check it out they got community bulletins bike donations And this place is El Shante. I did a lot of fundraiser at this place. A lot of fundraisers. Did a lot of hip hop shows right here. So, shout out to El Shante. Bianca, keep doing your thing. I still remember you even though we haven't talked in years. Shout out to you, keep doing your thing, keep hustling. You're doing an awesome job. I'm about to enter um, downtown Albuquerque in Central. I missed the whole downtown because I can't ride my bike and hold my phone at the same time. What is he saying? I am now depositing some cash before I get rolled. And I gotta keep looking out. Check my back. Let's go. Alright, so let me put this in little perspective for you. The gas station I left my vehicle at is literally further than this area. Like way down there. So I rode all that way and right now I'm only walking my bike because it's uphill. I won't get to round one, obvious. Oh! Fuck. Yeah, I won't get to round one, obviously, but I'm still very, very much digging the cruise right now. It's very awesome. The only thing that kind of sucks too is the wind is blowing toward me. So makes it a little difficult to pedal. I gotta take out my flashlight now so people can see me. All right, I'm getting kind of nervous because my sprocket is making noise. I don't know what the deal is right now, but I'm like, this is my old apartment way before I even moved to Albuquerque. That was my first place. Um. I'm on this little back road. Dude, I'm way far from where I parked. And if this gives up, I don't know how I'm gonna get back there. You guys hear it? Listen. Like it's not normal. Oh, like I said, I'm way far away. It's not like I could just turn around. I'm literally like past the halfway point. Like Albuquerque is small enough to ride across, but once you get down the hill, you have to go back up the hill. And that's where I'm at right now, it's going up the hill. But now I'm getting worried about my bike. And I am not going down. Hell no. I'm going over the tunnel. All right, so this is the freeway right here. Go straight toward, um, I guess toward Texas, right? And then, the freeway on that way, that side goes towards Santa Fe. This one goes toward Las Cruces. This one goes all the way back out toward like Grant's area. And my vehicle is parked way up there. Way up there. All right, I finally made it to Carlisle and Manal. 
My legs are super, super tired. Oh, it's getting harder to pedal uphill. Sucks. Yo, I am uh, on San Mateo. All the way down to San Mateo. Oh, I'm going all the way to that Calvary Church so I can meet my homeboy Lefty over there. Because he's playing disc golf. And I'm really thirsty. I'm gonna bring no water. It's like really loud. And I'm tired, man. <clears throat> I definitely underestimated the uh, the amount of work riding the bike all the way over here was gonna be. Whew. Like right now, I just wish I was back in my van and going to sleep. So I'm gonna ask my boy Lefty if he can take me back to my van later. Cause I'm not feeling this. This 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 right here is just too much. Woo! Guess who this is? Need a haircut. Dude, <laughs> your haircut <laughs> went whack, dude. Look at this. <laughs> Don't even look like I got a haircut. My <laughs> curl so damn much. <laughs> I hate it, man. I mean, not in the haircut, but I hate that stuff. My hair does this. I wish I had like that native. Little update. That night I was riding my bike around. Um, I left for the store. And I left my bike under the um, supervision of a couple people. Came back, then my bike was gone. I, um, I lost my bike that night. Someone uh, stole it. Obviously, it's stolen. If it was lost, then yeah, it's gone now. I lost my bike. I mean, I shouldn't have done that. It was my bad. So now I literally have no bike in the back of my my rack. I lost my bike. R.I.P. Bike. It was a cult. It was a real nice bike. Whoever has it, I hope you enjoy it. And another thing, two days ago, I lost my wallet with five hundred dollars in it. So if you guys see my wallet out there in the public, um. Make sure you please mail it back to me. Just throw it in the mailbox or whatever. Just throw, give me my wallet back. It's on the red somewhere. I have some uh, important cards in there. And I have money in there. Obviously, that's not going to be in there when I, if I get the wallet back. The money's not going to be in there, obviously. But whoever has it, I hope you use it really well. Unless you're just going to drink on it or whatever. Matter of fact, I don't really care what you use the money for. Just, just give me my wallet back.